Okay, back again with another super short lesson, hopefully, and super easy. Yesterday we did length, sorry, perimeter of a rectangle. Today is perimeter of a square. The only difference between those two is rectangle has two sides that are long, two sides that are wide, right? So there's two different measurements. But with a square, it's even easier because all four sides are the same, right? So instead of doing two times this and two times that, adding those together, they're all the same. So the formula is super simple. It's P equals four times S. S stands for side, because there's no length or width technically, because they're all the same measurement. Okay, so this side is eight, this side is eight, this side is eight, this side is eight. So four times each side, four times eight is 32 meters. See how easy that is? Or here's your, here's another, another, we have your choice of formulas again. You can either do P equals side plus side plus side plus side. Sometimes they go P equals S plus S plus S plus S. Oh yeah, they did. I cut it off, didn't I? Okay, so you can do the real slow way, eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, or you can do P equals four times S, four times a side, four times eight, 32 meters. Boom, so easy. Okay, go down to the story problems. In fact, I'm gonna start with a story problem today because it is so simple, super, super easy. Okay, so the first one says, Caleb, can you see that? Caleb built a square doghouse for Spot. Each side is four feet. What's the perimeter of the doghouse? So you're gonna write P equals four times S. And then what is the side? Four feet. P equals four times four. And over here, you're gonna write P equals, four times four is 16. 16 what? Feet. Booyah. So easy, I told you. Okay, Mrs. Wright had the children measure their rectangular classroom. Found the length to be 14.3 yards, a little harder and the width to be 10.9 yards, my bad. Okay, this is rectangular again. So on this one, you gotta go back to yesterday's and you'll have to do two times 14.3, a little harder because of a decimal, but we know how to do that, right? Plus two times 10.9. No, you do not have to write out the formula every day if you can remember it, but you just gotta make sure you know what you're doing. So if it's easier to start here and go P equals two times L plus two times W, then do that, your choice, okay? But if you know it without doing that, that's fine, okay? So this is what you have to do to find the problem, answer to that one. The reason we're doing these two are different is because this is rectangular. It has a different length than it does the width. Up here, it's a square, so all the sides are the same. So really, I told you, today's lesson is easier. Squares are easier. Okay, and then over here, a triangle. So what do you think the formula would be for a triangle perimeter? We did that yesterday. P equals side plus side plus side, or... P equals what? How many tri how many sides does a triangle have? Three. Three times S. If all three sides are the same. Now keep reading. Two of the angles, remember how we did angles with um, triangles? Measured 55 and 40. What was the measure of the third angle? Okay, you know what? This is not perimeter. I did not read that very thoroughly. This is a review question, okay? Remember how many degrees does every triangle have all together? 180, so it has to equal 180. So add these together and subtract this from here. And that will give you the third angle. So that has nothing to do with perimeter. I need to read carefully. Then it says, Zach told Mr. Calvert that he constructed a seven-sided octagon. Hmm. Why is this impossible? You're not here for me to answer, but I think most of you are pretty smart. Can you have a seven-sided octagon? Octopus have seven legs, eight legs. Why is this impossible? Because octagons have eight sides. 
So you can't make a seven-sided one. You can make a seven-sided heptagon, but not an octagon. Okay, so I helped you with story problems there. Now down here, it says use a, a ruler to draw a square with a perimeter of 48 feet. Use the scale of six feet equals a half an inch. And it says to find the length of each side, divide 48 by four, okay? Because if you add them all up, all four sides together, it equals 48. They're doing this backwards. The perimeter we know already. We don't know what the side equals. So 48 is the total, and it gives you a hint here. Divide it by four to figure out what the side is. So what's 48 divided by four? 12, good. So 12 is one side, okay? One side equals 12. Then it says you're gonna use it really to draw the square. The scale is six feet equals half of an inch, okay? So if six feet equals half of an inch and each side is 12 inches, or 12 feet, sorry, six feet, half an inch. We have double that, right? So 12 inches would be double this. 12 would equal one inch. So you're going to make, with your ruler, you're gonna draw a square that each side is one inch wide, okay? Is that one inch? No, this is like about three or four inches, but I made it big for you to see. So use your ruler. This, each side should be one inch. That's what they're wanting you to do there, okay? And then on number three, it says use addition, like we did yesterday, make it hard for a second four centimeters, so we do four plus four plus four plus four, which equals 16 centimeters. Do the same thing over here. 41 plus 41 plus 41 plus 41. Okay, write the answer there. And then down here on section four, we're supposed to use the easier way, the perimeter formula, which equals P for perimeter equals four times a side, right? So perimeter equals four times this right here, 3.1. Let's do that figuring right here. One times four is four, three times four is 12. There's one decimal place. So this answer has to have one decimal place. And our answer is 12.4 what? Feet, okay? So you do this one the exact same way that we did this. Very, very simple formula. Very, very simple answers. On the back, section five, you're gonna go back and review what we did yesterday. Finding the perimeter of each rectangle, okay? So you, there's the formula, they're reminding you the formula. Do that just like we did yesterday. And then the rest of it, all review stuff, okay? All a bunch of review. So that's everything for today. See you tomorrow.